Every star in the night sky is larger and brighter than our sun, but we can't see them. Only a handful of the faintest stars are comparable in size and brightness to the sun, in contrast to about 5,000 brighter stars. Wow, that is certainly food for thought. Have you ever looked up at the stars on a summer night? There were no clouds visible? Can you describe how you felt when you first laid eyes on that vast swath of stars? This is only a sample of the images of star clusters, galaxies, and outer space objects that have been recorded by the James Webb Space Telescope. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to receive timely alerts about the James Webb Space Telescope and NASA news as it happens. Let's get down to business right away. Number 1. Chameleon Molecular Cloud The center of the distant Chameleon 1 dark molecular cloud may be seen in this image from NASA's James Webb Space Telescope's near-infrared camera, NERCAM. The youthful outflowing protostar CED-110 IRS-4 illuminates the cool, wispy cloud material, blue middle, in the infrared, orange upper left. Since ices in the cloud absorb the sunlight that travels through them, it is possible to utilize the light from the many background stars, which appear as orange spots behind the cloud, to discover ices in the cloud. A group of astronomers from around the world have studied the coldest part of the molecular cloud and found a variety of ices there. This finding not only provides astronomers with a fresh insight into the origin of the more complicated molecules that are the first step in the construction of the building blocks of life, but also allows them to study the simple icy molecules that will be incorporated into future exoplanets. Number 2. Terzan 5 The star cluster Terzan 5 contains a wide variety of stars. After peering through the thick dust clouds covering the galactic bulge, a multinational team of scientists made the discovery. The most recent study suggests that Terzan 5 is one of the original building blocks that composed the bulge of the Milky Way, suggesting that it is a relic from the very early days of the galaxy. Number 3. KMHK 1137 this image shows the globular cluster KMHK1137 and the center of the Tarantula Nebula. A satellite galaxy of the Milky Way, the Large Magellanic Cloud, is a portion of the larger system. The Dorado Nebula is located in the southern constellation of Dorado, the Swordfish, some 170,000 light years from our galaxy. Number 4. Stellar Explosion in Orion a supernova is the most frequent sort of stellar explosion and is the result of a star's spectacular demise. However, new research into the Orion Nebula has revealed details on explosions that occur during the birth of stars, at the other end of the stellar life cycle. These striking photographs were acquired by astronomers when they investigated the fireworks-like debris left behind 500 years ago by the birth of a group of big stars. This discovery reveals that star formation can be an extremely energetic and violent process. Number 5. Light Echo from Mysterious Star You can view the star V838 Monocerotis here. There were similarities between the eruption of V838 Monocerotis and the more typical nova. Usually, a nova occurs when a normal star releases hydrogen onto its tiny white dwarf partner star. In a manner similar to a colossal hydrogen bomb, the hydrogen accumulates until it explodes in an act of nuclear fusion. Due to the explosion, the star's core, which has a temperature of hundreds of thousands of degrees Celsius, is now fully exposed. Yet, V838 Monocerotis oddly did not shed its outer covering. In its place, it ballooned to tremendous proportions, cooling to a surface temperature barely above that of a light bulb. To expand without shedding their outer layers is highly exceptional and uncharacteristic of a nova explosion. Number 6. HH24 The herbig Harrow object, HH24, is part of the molecular cloud and star-forming area known as HH24. The greatest number of astrophysical jets are found in this area compared to any other place in the sky. The molecular cloud can be found in the L1630 dark cloud, which is a component of the Orion B molecular cloud in the constellation Orion, and is located approximately 1400 light years away. Protostars are present in abundance in this area. The protostars in this area are the primary propulsion for the Herbig-Haro objects. 
Number 7. Pandora's Cluster This image provides a panoramic perspective of the galaxy cluster Abel 2744, which is now undergoing a merger. Because of the wide variety of unusual events it has produced over the course of 350 million years following a massive collision, this object has been dubbed Pandora's Cluster. Weird phenomena never observed before in combination were produced by a simultaneous pileup between at least four distinct clusters. For the purpose of analyzing the distribution of dark matter in such a dense cluster, this image will be employed. Number 8. The Cluster of Galaxies, Abel 315 It appears in this picture that thousands of galaxies are jammed into a patch of sky about the size of the moon. The distances to these galaxies differ widely. It is possible to make out the spiral arms of some of their circular halos, indicating that these objects are relatively close, particularly in the upper half of the photograph. Instead, further away objects look like dim blobs. In order to reach Earth, their light had to travel through the cosmos for at least 8 billion years. A huge galaxy cluster, designated Abel 315, is located roughly 2 billion light years from Earth and is populated with a hundred or so yellowish galaxies. Number 9. The Fornax Galaxy Cluster The Fornax Galaxy Cluster is one of the nearest large groups of galaxies to our own local group. Two distinct groups of galaxies, one revolving around NGC 1399 and the other around NGC 1316, make up what is known as the Fornax Galaxy Cluster. Strong star formation activity is occurring in the galaxies of NGC 1316, which are in the process of interacting with the largest subcluster in an attempt to merge with it. In addition to a number of extragalactic stars, including those that have exploded as novae, the Fornax Cluster is also full of hot, rarefied gas, like many other galaxy clusters. Number 10. M51 with Progenitor Star Imaged by the James Webb Space Telescope, M51 is an interacting spiral galaxy also known as the Whirlpool Galaxy. It's roughly 25 million light years away from Earth, yet amateur astronomers can see it clearly with a modest telescope. With its continued accelerated pace of star formation, likely the result of gravitational interactions with its companion galaxy, M51 is also a favorite among professional astronomers. Supernovae were also recently seen in this galaxy, the first in 2005 and the second in 2011. Thank you for watching this video through to its end. Which image interested you the most and why? Tell us what you think down below. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video to receive updates on the James Webb Space Telescope, NASA announcements, and our newest uploads. We'll be back with another video soon.